training. It's good stuff. I'm all caught up though. If you're talking about this one right here, risk management, ISO, security control documentation, it's going to be within the next couple weeks. I'm going to be adding more AT controls in there. About It's about three or four more videos and uh, it's going to cover um, how to write AT, what you should be looking for for AT documentation, what's the concept behind it, some templates, downloadables that you can use if your organization doesn't have it, or different sample stuff, actual security uh, training policies that are out there and links to them. It's going to be stuff like that. And then I'm going to move on to the next group of security controls. So we're just adding piecemeal, little by little. And then as we add, the price will go up on those for, for you guys who are not in it yet. Okay, Sean says, would you advise that I go take another certification after acquiring Security Plus last month? While still job searching for an asset in for an assessor job, yes, Sean, I would definitely never stay. See, here's the thing about security: it, it's is a pro and a con. On the one hand, it you have you're in a lucrative uh, career path that will always have jobs for you. Okay, that's the pro. There's always gonna be jobs for us. And I, I'm so fortunate that I landed on this one because it, it's, it is the more humanity depends on IT, good, bad, or indifferent, privacy issues, security issues, encryption issues, the more we all, all of us, are dependent on this kind of interaction, the more they need us, the more they need our skills as IT security people. The con is you constantly have to learn. It doesn't ever stop. Like I constantly have to learn new things about encryption. Constantly have to learn what's the new hack, what's the new threat, what's the new model for dealing with attack scenarios. It's ever expanding. It's in its infancy. I think that in in uh, within 50 years, what we're doing right now will be more like it'll be doctor level stuff. Because the level, the body of knowledge is getting super deep. And it's getting deep in different areas. So there's going to be a doctor level. There already is actually doctor level uh, depth on IT security alone. There's already, it already exists. If you go super deep into networking, hands down, one of the hardest security certifications you can take is CCIE, which includes a lot of security. CCIE doctor. I mean, it's doctor level knowledge, um, and and the level of resources and time involved with getting the certification and, and the practical hands on stuff is getting to a doctor level of certification and a doctor level of skill sets. Same thing with um, forensics. Same thing with encryption. They're all getting super deep. So what I'm saying to you is it's continuous learning. So if you're going into, what do you say, you're going into a uh, security awareness job, uh, no, assessor job, um, aware, assessor jobs, CISA is a good one, CEH is a really good one, both very marketable jobs. Another one would be CASP. Those three certifications, uh, I would recommend CASP because it's a CompTIA, so you'll be familiar with their layout. Their it, everything you've done in Security Plus will build into that. Plus, Department of Defense and the federal government in the U.S. and local governments treat the CASP like they treat the CISSP. It's highly marketable. No, not all certifications are marketable. There, there's some like SANS courses that are really, really good, but they're not. They're just not as marketable. Marketable. But what you'll find is your peers have a a SANS course and they're freaking smart as hell. And you're like, why does this guy know all this stuff? <laughs> or why does this lady know all this stuff? And it's because they have a SANS course and it's a, just just a damn good course. Anyway, we're talking about marketable stuff. So I said you should. You should think about doing the CASP next, or you should think about doing the CISA because CISA is Certified uh, Information System Auditor, which is an assessor. So that's a really good thing for an assessor. Let me see if I can find. I just had that open. Certified Information System Auditor, yeah, which is which is assessments. It goes into actual actually auditing and assessing people. So this is a really really good. I think there's. 
there might be some things that you have to do before that. I think you have to have like a year or two experience or something. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pass it within five years. I'm, there's some kind of things that you have to have before you get it. So you, you want to look into that. So if you can get this one, this is highly marketable. You're looking at six figures if you have the certification with experience. Not You can't just have the certification and then have zero experience and w- expect to walk in and make six figures. It, it's You walk in with three, four years of experience, and then you have this this CIA, this uh, CISA, uh, CISA, and you happen to be good at it, right? So you're bringing something to the to the table. And experience gives you all that. So there's that one. And then the last one I would say that's marketable that you should definitely look into is called the CEH. From I'm actually taking that one right now. I'm building up and, and training for that one. It's highly marketable. It's It's respected in several different industries a lot of people talk crap about it because it, it focuses on the tools you use to it to to attack a certificate uh, system but it's very marketable and it teaches you the basics of assessing uh of of looking at a system from the from the perspective of a hacker so you can know what to protect in an organization and then as an assessor know what to look for uh, as far as vulnerabilities and threats and things like that. So hope that helps. Let me see.